I'm really passionate about geography. I always loved it when I was at school, um, and that was kind of developed at uni. So the opportunity to work um, every day and be able to continue developing kind of my knowledge, understanding, experience with geography and related issues was a big plus. And then on the other side, um, because I like it so much, I really enjoy sharing it with people, uh, especially young people who I've seen quite kind of get excited about it um, and get stuck into it because it's kind of, I think, so relevant and interesting. Um, it's nice to be able to kind of share that with people. So those are kind of the two reasons that pulled me into it. The interest in teaching developed. Uh, there are a couple of opportunities um, provided by uh, sort of teaching NGOs uh, that I took advantage of at university, but uh, initially it was very much just, God, I really like geography, let's go find out more about it. The vast majority of young people have an opinion on climate change. Uh, they've heard about it, and I would say, at least in my experience, the majority of uh, young people are, I don't know if concern's the right word, but um, they have an interest, they've heard about it, and I would say that they want to at least know either that something's being done or that, or that they can do something. Uh, I think there's a lot of initiatives and opportunities that kind of are quite surface level at the moment uh, in terms of, you know, litter picks. Um, but then when you have children in the classroom and you're talking about fossil fuel emissions and sea levels rising, I think there's a bit of a detachment at that point. Uh, for some students, that kind of leads them to move away from um, or oh, I really have a role to play and for others it kind of goes down the path of gosh things are really bad um, how can I ever sort of a survive or b play a role in in um, addressing this. I really liked the kind of practical um, application of it so I mentioned I think a lot of kids experience a little bit of apathy when they think about the scale of climate issues um, and they think about where do I sit within this but the opportunity to kind of develop uh, the skills, knowledge and understanding among students to really interpret the range of information that's out there and then provide some kind of use cases for how they can make a difference and what kind of um, roles there might be after school that they might be interested in or going into um, that could also contribute to making a difference. Um, I was excited by so that's that was kind of my input, yeah. It's a core theme within the sort of sustainability discourse at the moment is that it's not just one group's responsibility, everybody has to play a role. Um, and I think uh, the opportunity to really embed that now in the curriculum across uh, every subject in every school is uh, invaluable um, and is really essential if we want to achieve targets where the entire society economy um, is working together and maximising efficient use of resources, all the rest, um, I think, yeah, fundamental. Um, I'd like to feel largely that it's it's raised awareness and, and, and empowered uh, young people. Um, again, if I go right back to where I was saying at the beginning, some of that sense of apathy that some students might feel when they look at the scale of the problem, I'd like to feel that I've had some impact in overcoming that hurdle and showing them that even though you may be one person out of um, the global population, you too can, can make a difference.